this video, I'm going to explain the steps necessary to replace a controller inside a display. Let's talk about controllers first. Many displays in Dactronics use controllers. Controllers are kind of the brains of the display, controlling the whole show, hence the name controller. Now, there's several different generations of controllers that we've used over the course of time in Dactronics. Some terms you might hear when working with the help desk are M2s or M3s, maybe even M4. Really, all of the controller functions are the same, and the steps to replace them are virtually the same as well. For this particular example, I'm going to be working on a Galaxy 3500 series, replacing an M3 controller. To begin, you want to locate where the controller is in your display. And you can do this by referencing the display manual, which can be found at Dactronics.com in the support section. I know in this display, which is a smaller display obviously used for training, that it's behind the second module. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with removing this module. And then once I pull that module out, I'm going to want to disconnect the power and ribbon cables. As I've said in other videos, you want to do this and not allow the module to hang by those cables because doing so could cause damage. Next is to remove all of the cables connected to the controller. And it's usually a good idea to label these cables so that you know where they go when you go to replace the controller or put in the new one. Now that I've removed all of the cables, I can use a 5 16 nut driver and remove the mounting hardware. Now that I've removed the mounting hardware, I can proceed with carefully removing the controller from the display. Now I'm ready to get my new one and put it in. To put in the new controller, just simply follow those steps in reverse. The first thing is to be very careful when reinstalling it in the display. Now that I've got it in the display, I want to make sure I use all of the mounting hardware that I removed previously to reinstall this one. With the controller securely in place using all of the mounting hardware, now I can proceed with reattaching all of the cables. Now that all the cables have been reattached, I can now reinsert the module. Once that module is reinserted, just run your hand over the display face to make sure it's not protruding out, and that tells you that it's fully seated. Now, if the display that you've just replaced a controller in is communicating via Ethernet connection, you'll likely need to change the IP address on that controller to be compatible with the customer's network. You can watch a short video tutorial where I use M2Config, which is the configuration utility used to set the IP address on Galaxy controllers. You can also refer to the display manual for directions on how to do this.